All right, good morning, everybody. It's about that time, 7 a.m. So I'm gonna demonstrate with bands today. <clears throat> so if you have bands, we'll use bands. If not, I'll show you how to use weights if you uh, just have weights. Not everybody has a treadmill or a support pole to wrap your bands around. So uh, just do what you can. And again, I'll show you modifications for bands or dumbbells. So I'm gonna angle my camera up a little bit more. So this morning's workout is going to be supersetting um, back with chest with cardio. We're going to go through four times, 12 total sets. So if you're using bands, you want to always step far away as you can. Feet close for chest flies, arch back. <clears throat> you crunch, bring your hands together, chin level. You don't want to be down here and you don't want to be up by your head. So the bands are really coming across right across your rear delts like that. And you always want to start out really far to get a good stretch. And then as you fatigue, start stepping back a little bit. Keep going and keep stepping back if, you, if it's burning a lot. 15 second rest. We're going to go back rows. So the back rows, heels touch, toes out. And you're going to squeeze your butt as you're rowing, palms face the ceiling. You can do palms face to ground, palms neutral, and then we're going to do cardio. So if you don't have bands, you'll use the weights. So the weights will be standing flies like this, doing uh, chest flies for 30 seconds, rest for 15, then back flies for 30 seconds, and then cardio. So it's chest, back, cardio, uh, four rounds of that. And we'll move on to the next exercise. So I've got the timer ready. Everyone get in position, grab your weights or grab your bands. You can all demonstrate with the bands right now. And we're going to go. All right, chest flies with ab crunches with bands. Spring his mind got in a knot here. All right, step way far out. In your crunch, stretch. Feet close together, blow out. Bring your hands, chin level right out in front of your chin. Stretch your chest, flex your abs, your hips are tucked in. Don't let your butt stick out because your abs aren't gonna work. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. Next is back flies or back rows. Heels touch, toes out. So remember, if you don't have bands, you're just logging in, you're gonna do this with dumbbells. All right, and we'll go palms up. And we're we'll starting way back, so you get a lot of resistance at first. If it's easy, you're not gonna get anything out of it. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your shoulder blades. And again, if you don't have bands, you're gonna use dumbbells. The next round, I'll show dumbbells. Squeeze your shoulder blades, palms face the ceiling, right below your chest. Hips come forward like you're doing limbo. Squeeze them. Squeeze them. All right, set those down. We're doing cardio now. So pick your cardio that's best for your joints. Walk, jog, or run in place, burpees, speed skaters, you know all the routine. If you have a bike, jump on that. I'm going to start with jumping jacks and warm up. So this next round, I'll demonstrate with dumbbells. quick stretch for the chest actually give me a back slap chest stretch this gets mid back in your chest and shoulders stretch them out all right chest flies you people are using dumbbells we're doing this so you're doing a butt squeeze chest fly heels touch toes out suck your belly button in lean back squeeze your butt flex your pecs don't bring the weights behind you. Keep them in front so there's always tension on those muscles. Don't bring them all the way down. So the side view, it's like this. Not bring them all the way down. All right. 
Rest for 15. Feet straight, and go, if it's easy, you can go back flies. If it's harder, back rows, palms up is easier. So if you have light weights, give me some back flies. Tucking that belly button in. It's about a 45 degree angle with the arms. Together in front. Squeeze your shoulder blades coming back. Always sucking in your belly. Working those rear delts, intrascapular muscles. Come on. Where's that burn? All right, set your weights out of the way. Cardio. Walk, jog, or run. I'm going to run in place this time. Ease up with your cardio. Start off easy and go to your more advanced cardio exercises as your blood vessels dilate and your muscles warm up. I suggest not starting off with burpees right away. Even though you want to. Get those knees up, get those hands up, exaggerate your movement. All right, wanna do a quad stretch. Whatever muscles are burning, whatever muscles are tight, give them a stretch. We're on the chest again, I'm gonna go bands again. Step way far out to begin with, there you go. Step way far away, save a lot of tension. And then just inch yourself back as you fatigue. Arch your back, round your back. Like you're doing a crunch. Don't want your butt stick out. If your butt sticks out like this, you're not working your abs. You can't do this. Hips gotta stay in. Like you're laying on the ground. All right, 15 rest. Back rows, here's where your heels touch, toes out, it gets, you get a better butt squeeze. I'm gonna go palms down this time, elbows high. Step way far back and squeeze. So you squeeze your thighs together, squeeze your butt the whole time as you squeeze your shoulder blades. That's it, good form. Remember if it's easy, go faster or step back farther, or use a heavier weight. Get those muscles burning for it to work. All right, rest, a little stretch. I don't even go to speed scanners this time. You pick your cardio. Stay in low if you're doing speed skaters. Get those hips and glutes working with your cardio. Nice work. This round, I'll go back to dumbbells. You can switch up each round too. You can go bands or dumbbells. Heels touch, toes out. Lean them back. Bring the bottom of your dumbbells together like a V. Forehead level. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs together. Just don't bring them up over your head. Forehead level is the highest you're gonna go. Arms almost locked out. Squeeze your butt, suck in your gut. Keep moving. Don't come all the way down. Three quarters of the way down. All right, shake them out. Back flies. So back flies, arms straight, a little bit harder. So if you have light weight, go arms straight. Back rows is easier. All right, go. Keep looking up. Back flat, butt out. Good. Keep going. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Get them working. A 
one more. Push through that burn. All right, set them down. I'm gonna go burpees this time. Pick your cardio. This is our last one for this round. All right, there you go. Good work. Give him a little stretch. Drink if you need it. We're going to do shoulders and abs now. So while you're getting a drink, I'll demonstrate. So the shoulders, if you're using bands, you go upright rows. If you have something low to attach it to, heels touch, toes out, squeeze your butt as you pull elbows to the ceiling. If you don't have band attachment down low, you're gonna use dumbbells. Same form, heels touch, toes out like a duck, elbows to the ceiling. Okay, it's shoulders. For abs, if you have bands, grab it like a baseball bat and you're gonna crunch, twist, side to side. For abs, we're gonna move way back for the most resistance we use two bands. If you don't have bands, you're gonna go your least favorite ab exercise. V-ups, Russian twist, any ab exercise that you hate, and cardio. So those are our three. We're gonna do shoulders, abs, and cardio. So pick your implement of torture. I'll go bands first time through, and then dumbbells. All right, ready, set, and go. The shoulder rows. Dumbbells or bands, heels touch, toes out, pull elbows to the ceiling, your hands come to your chest. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs together, suck in your belly, pull them up. Remember, move way back to begin with, get the most resistance you can handle, and then you sneak forward to lighten up if you need to. All right. Set them down, get ready for abs. For bands, you're gonna hold it like a baseball bat. Hands, handles are dangling down. It's almost like a lat pull crunch. You're stretching out, crunch, twist. Crunch and twist. Big twist, trying to get those hands by your hips or behind your hips. So stretch out and pull, stretch out and pull. So it's lat pull, ab crunch with a twist. If it's easy, move on back. Or go faster if you're on the floor doing abs. All right, time for cardio. I'm gonna go to jumping 180s. You pick your cardio, walk, jog, or run in place. And go. work shake them out stretch whatever's tight back to shoulders i'm using dumbbells this time to show you so heels touch toes out dumbbell row and go elbows to the ceiling so there should be a v out of your forearms weights to your chest elbows to your ears lean back squeeze your butt squeeze squeeze your thighs together Work those adductors. The weights don't come any higher than your chest. Working the side of your shoulders. 
If this is easy, go faster or go heavier. All right, abs, I'm gonna do weighted V-ups. You can use weight or don't use weight. You could start with weight or not. All right, ready? And go. Or you can go back to bands. Back to cardio. I'm gonna go uh, jacks again. Pick your cardio. And go. Moving quick. If it's easy, if you're not out of breath, go faster. Nice work, nice work. Shake them out. If your calves are tight, a little calf stretch. Push that heel down, lock the back leg out. We're back to shoulder rows with bands or with dumbbells. All right, let's get ready. Move way back if you have bands. There you go. Squeeze your thighs together. Squeeze your butt. Suck in your gut and move way back so you have a lot of resistance. Hands to your chest. Elbows to the ceiling. Rock your hips back and forth like you're going to do limbo. Under that bar, hips come forward. Legs straight. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those thighs together. All right. Quick shoulder stretch where you pull it across your neck. Stretch between sets. Helps with posture, reduce chance of injury. All right. Grabbing the bands like a baseball bat, a lat pull, stretch out, pull in and twist, stretch out, pull in and twist. It's a lat pull, ab crunch, works a lot of muscles. If it's easy, move back or put two bands together. Give me a nice big twist, bring those handles behind you. Get those shoulders to midline of your body. All right. I'm gonna do mountain climbers this time. You pick your cardio. And go. Set, another round. A little back stretch, chest stretch. Get ready for shoulder rows again. I'll go weights again this time. Heels touch, toes out. And lean back, weights to the chest, elbows to the ceiling. Work the side of those shoulders. It's a great shoulder shape. Makes that waist look even smaller. It's all about the illusion. Sucking it in. Pull elbows way up. Touch the ceiling with your elbows. Weights hang down. Make a V out of your forearms. So just look at V up here. Like a V. All right. Abs. I'm going to do Russian twists with weight. Sitting down. All right. Russian twist. Or you can use your bands with the standing twist crunch. Just looking straight ahead in one spot. 
Try to get those shoulders to midline of your body. The more you lean back, harder it is. And the faster you lean back, or faster you twist, harder it is. Move them quick. All right, good work. Back up, another round. I'm going back to band, use what you have. Shoulder rows, heels touch, toes out, and go. Squeeze those thighs together, elbows to the ceiling, hands to your chest. Move way back if you're using bands. Gotta get those muscles burning. Or go faster. Pull up those elbows. All right. Did I forget cardio there? I think I did. We were supposed to do cardio that time. Oh well, we'll make up next time. So let's do a little stretch. Because we're done with that round and got the triple beat. That means we're done. Pull that bicep across your neck. Because next one are biceps and triceps. So, if you have bands for biceps, you go at the bottom, same hit the position with the feet, heels touch, toes out. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs together. Bring those hands up to your armpits. Triceps, you can use them down there, or you can use them up higher here, wherever you want. You're gonna go tricep kickback. Glue your elbows to your sides so your hands go from your armpits, lock them up behind you. Armpits, lock them up behind you. Dumbbells, heels touch, toes out. Bicep curl, butt squeeze. And then you're gonna go tricep kickbacks. But elbows stay in the air, so you're 90 degrees here, so weights come to your hips. Elbows stay up, lock them out, push to the ceiling. A little ab crunch to your hips, to your ceiling. And then cardio, if I remember to do it. So I'll do bands first, and then next round I'll do uh, dumbbells. All right, grab your bands or grab your dumbbells. Bicep curls, ready, set, and go. Remember, heels touch, toes out on both of them. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your thighs together, suck in your gut, and remove way back. To get the most resistance you can handle at first. Way back. Squeeze them. Let them bring those hands up in those armpits. Keep those hands close to you. All right, shake them out. Get ready for triceps. So even with bands, elbows glued to your side. You're kicking out here. Flat back. And go. Put a little crunch in there. Elbows stay high to the ceiling. Bend your elbows and straighten them. Don't let your elbows rock up and down. They stay in one spot. Bend your elbows and then lock them out. 90 degrees to 180. If you're using bands, start way back. Move back if this is easy. Dumbbells go heavier, go faster. All right, cardio. I'm gonna running in place. You pick, walk, jog, run, burpees, whatever you want. Whatever gets that heart rate up with no joint pain. All right, exaggerate that run. Knees up, hands up. Get that tempo up. Breathe deep. Mouth and nose. Nice work. Little bicep stretch. Grab those fingertips. Little tricep stretch. Touch that spine. Pull that elbow. All right, grab your equipment. Bicep curl, butt squeeze. Heels touch. Squeeze. Pull the weights up in your armpits. 
Lean back, squeeze your thighs together. Squeeze your butt, suck in your gut. Squeeze. Really pull those weights literally into your armpits. Hips come forward as you lean back. Squeeze those cheeks as hard as you can. Come on, keep going, keep going. All right, shake them out. Tricep kickbacks next. You also have the option to go overhead for triceps. That works the long head of the tricep. Kickback works medial and lateral. So, elbows to the ceiling, lock them out. Bend them and then crunch as you push your hands as high as you can to the ceiling. Bend the elbows and lock them out. Inhale and exhale. That's it. Make sure those elbows bend 90 degrees or greater. And then lock them out to 180. All right. Cardio, walk, jog, or run. I'm going burpees. Stretch them out. Those triceps touch the spine. Pull the elbows back. All right, cardio. Stretch them out, little tricep stretch. Another round, back to biceps. I'm going bands again. Heels touch, toes out, hands to your armpits. Remember, start way back if you have bands, move way back. Squeeze your butt, suck in your gut. Get those bodies burning. Go faster if it's easy. We'll move back further. Nice work, shake them out. Get ready for triceps. Flat back, elbow up in the air. Crunch, hands to your hips, up to the ceiling. Keep those elbows up high to the ceiling. Don't let those elbows drop down, because then your arms are staying straight, and you're doing a back row instead. So elbows stay glued to your side. Squeeze your armpits. work drop them get ready for cardio i'm going speed skaters pick your torture little hip stretch always stretch something during rest time it really helps with posture and reduce injuries all right staying low moving quick whatever you can do to get your heart rate up really high without injuring your joints Stretch feet together, bend that knee to the side you lean to, push that hip way out. One more round, I'm going back to dumbbells, heels touch, toes out, weights to your armpits, pull them way up in your armpits. Always squeeze your butt, suck in your gut. Move them quick if it's easy. You can twist your weights down, twist your palms up. Palms face your side at the bottom, palms face your ceiling at the top. This last set for tries, I'm gonna go overhead, working along head of the tricep. 
feet together. I'm going up over my head, leaning back. So your abs are working, squeeze your butt, suck in your gut, and leaning back, elbows close. Nice deep stretch to your neck, up to the ceiling. Or you can stick with kickbacks. Keep pushing through that burn. Keep going, keep going. All right. Quick breath, quick tricep stretch, touch your spine, pull it. I'm going jumping jacks next. You pick yours. And go. Moving quick. If you can't get your heart rate up high enough with jumping jacks, do something else. If you got a jump rope, pretend jump rope. All right, grab a drink. Let's do a little stretch. Done with that round. Bend the knee to the side you lean to. Bend in half. Touch your spine. Grab that elbow. Push it out. Bicep forearm stretch. Grab those fingertips. Remember, no static stretches yet. Dynamic stretches. So we're on to quads, hams, and cardio. So bands first. I'll explain. You might need two bands. So resist your body weight. So you're squatting down, up on your toes, and you can do a shrug. If you want, you can do another curl if you can, if you have the, the strength. But calf raise and shrug. So the same thing with dumbbells. Same motion. Squat, head and chest up, calf raise, shrug. Hamstrings are the same on both also. So the heel, hamstrings, heels touch, toes out, flat back, so your face and your chest is up, so your back is flat. If you look down, your back rounds. This is not good for your back. So as soon as I look up, my back flattens out. Squeeze your butt, shrug, or a bicep curl. Squeeze. And then cardio. So it's squats and straight leg deadlifts, cardio. I'll go bands first. Grab your bands, grab your weights. Get ready. Get set, and go. So squat calf raise with a shrug. Nice deep squat. If your knees don't like this, just stay in an isometric squat. Barely move them at all, but you can do a shrug, and you can do a bent knee calf raise. So you can still do a calf raise like this if your knees don't like it, or you can do a wall sit. You pick your range of motion. Don't hurt your joints. All right, shake them out. Get ready for straight leg deadlifts. Always start with the furthest, furthest back as you can for the most resistance using bands. All right, heels touch, toes out. On both exercises, look up, stretch those hams. Squeeze your butt and shrug. Squeeze your butt and shrug. So no calf raise on this with the bands. Work on more butt. Stretch, squeeze your butt, give me a shrug. Shoulders to your ears. These legs are straight on this one. Don't bend your knees on this one. Hands, butt, and back are working here. Traps. All right, cardio. I'm going speed skaters. Make sure your weights are out of the way. We don't want any casualties. All right, you can start early if you want. If you're not breathing heavy, start early. Stay low. A fast hop. Keep looking up at the top of the wall across from you. That keeps your back flat, butt out. All 
All right, quick hip stretch. Stretch those glutes and hips out. We're doing the speed skaters. All right, another round. Squats. All the dumbbells this time. Heaviest ones you can use. Head up. Calf raise shrug. Or you can do a calf raise shoulder row for some more shoulder work. It also works traps like shrugs. So I'm going to do squat, calf raise, shoulder rows. Works more muscles. Builds the upper body, making the waist look skinnier. Now up on your toes, elbows to the ceiling. Again, isometrics if you have bad knees. All right, I'll keep them in my hand. Shake them out, straight leg deadlift next. Bands or dumbbells, you pick. All right, look up, flat back, legs are straight, almost locked out. I'm gonna go bicep curls this time. Straight leg, calf raise, curl with dumbbells. Stretch those hams, flex those biceps. Pull those dumbbells into your armpits if you're using dumbbells. All right. Put them down. Next cardio. Pick one to get your heart rate up. I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go mountain climbers again. Let's go. That round done. On the squats again, I'm going bands. Move them way back. All right, and go. Squat, calf raise, shrug. Remember, if you have bad knees, shorten your range. We're just doing isometric with a calf raise like this. So the knees stay still, but you're still working all the muscles around it. You got good knees, full range of motion, nice and deep. Calf raise and a shrug. Or a shoulder row. All right, step on in, shake them out. Back to straight leg deadlifts. Move away back with bands. Stretch, you can do curls, stretch, squeeze your butt and curl, or a calf raise curl with it. Make sure that back is flat, legs are straight. Straight those legs. Just feel the stretch on the back of the legs. Cardio, pick a cardio. Anyone that gets your heart rate way up. All right, I'm running in place. Knees up, hands up to your cheek. Exaggerate your form. Knees up, hands up. A high knee run. All right, one more round. Little stretch, little quad stretch. Pull that knee back and forth. I'm going dumbbells again for this last round. Get ready. Squat. I'm going shoulder rows with this. Squat, shoulder row, calf raise. Elbows in the ceiling. If you're gonna do the shoulder row or the shrug,
Remember, make a V out of your elbows, your forearms. Hands should not come higher than your chest. Elbows have to be higher than your hands. Look at your form, are your elbows higher than your hands? And you're doing it right. Shake them out. Little dynamic butt kick for a quad stretch. Straight leg deadlift, bicep curls. Coming up, legs straight. Look up, stretch those hands. Toes, dumbbells to your armpits. Stretch those hands. Curl them, stretch them, curl them. Nice work. Keep them going. All right, another round of cardio. This will be the last round for this set. I'm gonna go jacks again, quicker cardio. Get your heart right way up and go. Moving fast, get yourself breathing heavy. The heavier you breathe, the higher metabolism stays for hours after you're done. We're done with that workout, but let's finish up with uh, two rounds of planks. So I'll hit the button. When you hear beep twice, two rounds, just follow me. And we'll be done. So look at about two minutes here. Plank position. We're going to hold plank for two minutes. All right, ready? Get set and go. Hold the plank. Butt down, head up. Suck your butt in. Or suck your gut in, squeeze your butt. Or suck your butt in, if you can do that. Don't let your head hang down, the legs straight. Head up. So we go through two beep cycles. You can drop to your knees if you need to. So keep going, we're not gonna rest. Keep going. Breathe deep, legs straight, squeeze your butt, suck in your gut, and head up, don't let your head hang down. Keep going, that was 45 seconds. That's it, protract those shoulders, push your chest away from the floor. Keep those legs straight. Don't want your hips sag down. Don't want your butt stick up. Give me a perfect plan. Keep going. Don't stop. Thirty more seconds. It's the last set here. If one beeps after this, we're done. Head up, don't hang down, butt down, head up. All right, you guys are done. Good work. Thanks for watching. Tell all your friends about it. I appreciate you working out with me. And uh, remember to register for next classes so I have a head count. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.